Hello, I'm here to talk about renewing the assault weapons ban. It was a dark night at the dark night in Aurora, Colorado. The company I work for uh, allowed me to go visit that factory that we had, uh, and I got to know the people there. Um, so I felt like I probably knew people that had friends or family possibly in that theater, which makes me a little more connected to that incident. It was a dark day in Washington, D.C. on Monday, September 13, 2004, when our Congress led a 10-year-old law banning manufacture of assault weapons labs. That law had banned semi-automatic weapons with magazine clips of more than 10 rounds, like the weapons used in Aurora and other public massacres that have taken place in the past eight years. When in place, the 1994 assault weapons ban law reduced crimes by 66%. That's based on the Brady Center 2004 report called On Target, the impact of the 1994 Federal Assault Weapons Act. Therefore, it's possible that this ban, if left in place, could have reduced the number of people shot and killed by 66% from massacres in the past eight years. While the Second Amendment provides for people to have the right to bear arms, the constitutional right to bear arms was intended to support security, not reduce it. Some military-type weapons are not for public consumption. The assault weapons ban law was in effect 10 years. It was constitutional and it was effective. People should be able to let their children go to public places like a school, mall, church, or movie theaters without the threat of being mowed down with a legally easily purchased assault weapon. I believe those who chose to commit a public massacre or choose to commit a public massacre are emboldened by having legally easily purchased semi-automatic weapons and 30 round clips. Perhaps they would not feel so bold if they weren't have easy access to these assault weapons to gun down innocent people. On Thursday, September 13, 2012, we'll have had eight years without an assault weapons ban. Eight is enough. For those that advocate every man and woman in the theater should have had a gun, this proposal does nothing to prevent that. It simply helped prevent the murderers from having legal semi-automatic assault weapons with 30 round clips, while innocent men and women may simply have a handgun or no gun at all. The difference between a 10 round clip and a 20 round, a 30 round clip could be 20 dead people. It's time for our elected officials to reenact an assault weapons ban, and this time for both manufacture and sale of assault weapons. The eight-year trial of going without it has not gone well. However, apparently elected officials will not do so as long as the NRA opposes the assault weapon ban. The NRA who advocates for guns should be the leading advocate for gun safety as well. An assault weapons ban is not the first step to taking away gun privileges for citizens, as is feared by some, but just a simple step to help protect all citizens from massacres using military assault weapons. After eight years, we should be able to learn from our mistake and correct it. Helping to reduce the continuation of assault weapons massacres would be a great way for the NRA members to pay tribute to those that have lost their lives in the massacres over the past eight years. Today, I called the NRA, today 725-12, and asked, please have the NRA change your position and stop opposing assault weapons ban in order to help reduce massacres in this country. A nice representative said, thank you for your comments. I'm asking other people, including in our, mem our members, who really care about reducing massacres in this country, to also call the NRA. The number is 877-392-8683, prompt 5. 877-392-8683, prompt 5. Prompt 5 gives you their legislative action input and ask them to stop opposing the assault weapons ban should simply ask in the NRA to change their position, not work. Those who really care about reducing public massacres could also vote against elected officials that oppose the automatic weapons ban. The vote is a powerful thing. The NRA has showed us that. 
Thank you for your consideration. Thank you for your support.